Hey everybody, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today we're going to have a look at some fish that our followers sent us. This is a perfect opportunity to find some new stocking ideas and just look at some cool fish. So the first fish on our list is the Kurai Tetra or the Purple Emperor Tetra. Now these are a nice hardy tetra, perfect for anybody in the hobby, best kept in groups of about 6. However, the more the merrier, these fish will do really well in a planted tank and will more or less eat anything you offer them. So the next fish on our list is the Wrestling Halfbeak. Now I absolutely love these. They're a top dwelling fish, so obviously a bit of a jumper, so a lid is definitely required. Now keep these with other small peaceful fish and it will make a perfect addition to any aquarium 30 gallons or 100 litres or more. They enjoy live and frozen foods, but they have been known to take flakes and pellets. But the most interesting thing about these is the fact that they're actually live bearers. Now they aren't as easy to breed as guppies and platies, however it would still make for a very interesting breeding project. So next we have the Balloon Belly Long Finned Golden Ram. Yes, that's its name. Now rams make the perfect centerpiece fish for any small aquarium. They can be aggressive, especially when breeding. I wouldn't recommend keeping them with other dwarf cichlids like Epistogrammas and Crebensis. They are territorial, so ensure they're in at least a 75 to 80 litre tank or a 20 to 21 gallon. Although I would go for a bigger tank if you want to keep more fish with them, 100 litres or 29 gallons. They're best kept in pairs, but you can keep multiple females if the tank is large enough. Small caves and coconut huts make for perfect spawning areas. They can be picky when feeding, so feeding them live foods and frozen foods like bloodworms and daphnia will be perfect. So the next fish on our list is the clown loach. These are great looking fish, however they do grow to about 30 centimetres and need to be kept in groups of at least 6. I would recommend keeping them in at least a 75 to 80 gallon or around 300 litres. They are also very intolerant of poor water quality so I would not recommend these fish for beginners. They also tend to be very prone to catching common fish diseases and not to mention they can live up to 15 years old. So these fish are clearly not a quick fix for your snail infestation. Other than that, these are amazing and fish and I definitely recommend them for anyone who hasn't kept them before. So the next fish on our list is the tiger barb which actually looks quite similar to the clown loach. Tiger barbs are renowned fin nippers and are known for being aggressive. However, keeping them in large groups in a large tank can help defuse this aggression. I would recommend a group of about 10 to 12. It sounds a lot, but it definitely makes a difference. Other than that, they're actually really easy to keep. They're really hardy like most barbs and they'll more or less eat absolutely anything. I would just recommend not keeping them with any long finned fish like angelfish or grammys and you'll be perfectly fine. So we get a lot of discus submissions so I'm just going to play them all in the background but thanks to the discus supporters I appreciate you sending in stuff every single week. So first off anyone wanting to keep discus don't worry they're not actually that difficult to keep. I think back in the day the wild caught ones didn't ship particularly well and that's where they get that reputation from. Don't get me wrong they are still susceptible to poor water quality and diseases like hole in the head and internal parasites. Pristine soft warm water is needed but it's well worth it for these amazing looking fish. Let's take a break from fish for a couple of seconds and have a look at this rabbit snake. They are a great cleanup crew, however they do grow quite large so be mindful that they also have quite a large bio load. Slightly harder water will ensure that their shells don't erode as well as foods containing calcium. They won't bother plants if they're well fed so some algae wafers, pellets and some vegetables will keep them really happy. Just like the discus, we get a lot of beta submissions. I'm not going to go into much detail about the betas as we have a complete care sheet on our YouTube channel for you to check out. I'll put the link in the description. However, we did get this giant beta as a submission. It said that these are the results of genetic breeding and that's how you get these larger betas that can reach 10 to 12 centimeters. However, the care guide is more or less the same as your regular beta. So the next fish on our list is the Hillstream Loach. Now these tiny looking stingrays are great little loaches. The tank needs to be well oxygenated and have a good heavy flow. Flat rocks are their favourite places to sit so keeping a pile of them near a filter outlet will give them a perfect place to stay. Now they do prefer cooler water but you can keep them in warmer water as long as you have a nice heavy flow in your tank and it's well oxygenated. They love algae wafers and grazing on the rocks but will eat meatier foods if they're offered. So the next fish on our list is the tire track eel. 
Now these freshwater eels are a little bit smaller than your fire eel and are good for larger tanks with larger fish. Now they like to bury so a thick sandy substrate is definitely recommended. They enjoy eating live and frozen bloodworms, shrimp and earthworms, however they may even eat smaller fish. They are susceptible to poor water quality so I would not recommend these fish for a beginner. So the next fish on our list is the Centenee rainbow fish. A critically endangered species of rainbow fish in the wild due to over pollution and other species being introduced to the area of Lake Centenee. Very difficult to come across and commonly mistaken for another species of rainbow fish, the barred rainbow fish. So next on our list is the Zebra Maison Reef. This is a fish from Lake Malawi, they grow quite large. Now I'm not really well versed in Malawi cichlids, but if you enjoy keeping them, then this is an amazing looking fish. So the next fish on our list is another Malawi cichlid, the Dragon Blood Peacock. Now they naturally inhabit the sandy areas of Lake Malawi, so are pretty undemanding. They're happy with some coral sand and some rock. Obviously harder water with a higher pH of 7.5 to 8.5, they'll do great. They do well with other cichlids similar to their size and they're also pretty easy to breed. So the last fish on the list is the goldfish. Now the goldfish is actually the third most kept pet after cats and dogs. Now they do need bigger tanks and that's normally the problem, people keep them in tanks that are far too small. I would say goldfish are perfect for ponds or any tank over 100 litres or 29, 30 gallons. So thank you to everyone who watched this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram at fishkeepingmadeeasy. Thank you.